What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to write loose structure for phosphate. So I start with number of valence electrons. We have five in here for phosphorus and we have four times six plus three. So we have five plus 24 plus three. That makes it 32. Then I have P in the middle and oxygens around it. And what I can do, I can have the single bond around them. And then put the oxygen electrons around each of them. So that makes it 32. We have 246, 246, 246, 246 here. So 24 and plus 8 is going to be 32. But if we check the formal charge, formal charge, formal charge equals to valence electrons minus non-bonding electrons plus half of the bonding electrons so basically we take the valence electron minus the summation of these two so in this case p is 5 minus non-bonding electrons we have nothing because there is no lone pair plus half of the bonding electrons we have eight of them so that makes it positive one and the other one for oxygen is six minus non-bonding electrons we have six oxygen six electrons for each oxygen and we have bonding electrons 2 divided by 2 that makes it negative 1 so here we have plus 1 for phosphorus and for oxygen we have negative 1 so let's check out if we have double bond what's gonna happen so now I change it to double bond one of, for one of the oxygens so now let's check the formal charge again so formal charge for phosphorus becomes 5 the valence electron minus the summation of non-bonding electrons which is nothing here plus we have 10 bonds 10 elect 5 bonds which is 10 bonding electrons divided by 2 that makes it 0 and for oxygen when we have double bond we have six electrons with the valence electron minus the non-bonding is four plus we have two bonds means that four bonding electrons divided by two that makes it zero and for single bond oxygen we have six minus we have six uh, six non-bonding electrons plus two bonding electrons divided by two which makes it negative one so the charges for these electrons are negative one so as you see here when we find the summation it's going to make it negative three so that's basically the best Lewis structure for phosphate ion i hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment if you have any question and i get back to you as soon as possible thank you